Sometimes biracha, blessing is withheld from us because of the way we speak or because of the things we listen to, the way we deal with others. All of this concept just lingers on the idea of being sensitive to another. And v'avta neracha kamocha, do unto others as you'd like to be done to yourself. In the Torah portion of Kedoshim, there is another one of the most famous verses in our Torah, not by chance. The verse is in chapter 19, verse 18. Listen to what the Torah tells us. Lotikom veloti toret bene amecha. You shall not take revenge and you shall not bear a grudge against the members of your people. Then the famous words, Ve'ahavta lere'acha kamocha. And you should love your fellow as yourself. There's a famous quote which is quoted in the name of the Holy Arizal, Rabbi Itzhak Luria Ashkenazi, the very man who brought back the awareness of the study of Kabbalah, mystical teachings, some 500 years ago. And he writes, you want to have the most powerful and potent prayer? Before you pray, Specifically, shacharit, the morning prayer, right? First thing you do in the morning. Accept upon yourself the commandment of loving your fellow as yourself. If you look in some of the better sidurim, right at the beginning of shacharit, it says over there that I am accepting upon myself the mitzvah of loving my fellow as I love myself. And this includes all of the Jewish people of Israel. This is sourced to be coming from the Arizal. The Zer Shon now quotes a verse from Tehillim, chapter 116, verse 1. It says as follows, Ahavti ki shma Hashem et koli tahanunai. I love him, Ahavti, I love him. Kishma Hashem, because God hears me. Et kolita Hanunai, He hears the voice of my supplications. The Zer Hashem Shon asks, he says, the verse should sound a little better. It shouldn't say, Ahavti Kishma, that I love him, and that's why he hears me. It should say, Ta'avti Kishma, I desire that God hears my voice of prayer and my supplications. Not I love, rather, I desire that God listens to my voice. So the Zer Hashim Shon says as follows. It says specifically, I love him. You know who I love him is referring to? I love him is referring to the Jewish people. I love him refers to, I love B'nai Israel. I'm including all the Jewish people in my love God. So therefore... Et kolita hanunai, listen to my supplications. And that fits in perfectly with what the Arizal said. That's his first answer to why it says ahavti and not, and not ta'avti. Okay, he has three. Second answer he says, the Talmud tells us if a person prays for a friend of his or hers that needs the same blessing or miracle, that you'll be answered first. If I pray for reuven, for something that I need, I'll be answered first. Okay? So what does it mean, Ahavti? Ahavti, I love him. You know who him is? It's him who I'm praying for God. I'm praying for him first. So therefore, listen to my supplications and answer me as well. Listen to the third one. I think this might be the most powerful one. Ahavti is referring to the Jewish people again. And when a person makes themselves part of a congregation, any prayer that is part of a congregation can never be unanswered. That's why we come together and we pray with the minyan. That's why we come to the sinal. That's why we congregate. Because when we come as a group to God, God cannot turn us away. Since He's not turning us away, Ahavti Hashem, I love all of the Jewish people. We're all one. We're all coming as one to pray to you. So listen to Et Kolita Hanunai, 
all of the voices of the supplications. He says, why does it say it kolita hanun? In a singular format, it says it kolita hanunai, because a person that makes himself part of the congregation now has elevated and upgraded their level of prayer to the strongest potency of prayer with the greatest success rate. And that's what David HaMelech meant by I love. I love either the Jewish people, or I love the other fellow that I'm praying for, or I love the fact that I'm part of a congregation we're praying on behalf. We should never take so lightly the concept of coming to a Bet Knesset, praying a Bet Knesset, understanding that the prayers in the Bet Knesset have the greatest, strongest power. That means that when one comes to the synagogue, to understand the holy place that they're in and maintain the dignity and respect it deserves. Not talking, not kibitzing, not joking. Maintaining respect and decorum for the place that you're in. It's the house of God. Yeah, we need to be friendly, we need to be happy, we need to come together as a family. It's obviously not boarding school over here. As we say in Spanish, it's not interno. However, remember how special the place is. Remember the respect and honor and decorum it deserves. May Kadosh Baruch Hu bless us in the merit of the Zerashim Shon, in the merit of keeping the holiness of the synagogue, that all of our prayers be answered, our families will be blessed, we will be blessed, and the community at large will be blessed. Baruch Adonai Leolam. Amen. Amen.